Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're just going to be spraying out um, the winter grass, and I'll give you a couple of facts um, and tell you a little bit, a little bit about winter grass. So let's get into it. And uh, first of all, like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's do it. So what is winter grass? Winter grass, or poa annua, as it's scientifically known as, is a low-growing, tufted turf grass. It has lime green drooped leaves and has triangular seed heads. Winter grass seeds start germinating in the soil as early as March. Once the temperatures start to decline is when they will start to emerge and then appropriate control is required. Winter grass can be removed easily by hand because it does not have deep roots. Its roots are quite fibrous and shallow so it sticks, they're close to the surface of the um, the soil so it can be easily removed by hand or if your whole lawn is invaded with them like mine you can use a herbicide um, a selective herbicide but there is a way you can stop winter grass before they emerge so that's putting down a pre-emergent such as embargo barricade um, oxapro oxifert um, and that will stop the germination of seed in the soil basically puts a barrier in the soil that will stop any seeds from germinating. Um, obviously I didn't put down my pre-emergent here so I got a lot of winter grass to control um, but I'll be putting down a herbicide for that. So the herbicide I'll be using today to knock these nasty little weeds um, is just Amgro winter grass killer from Bunnings. Um, so the active ingredient in this is endosol. They so say endosol and present in that is dopotassium dopotassium salts I don't think I said that right but dopotassium salt um, and endosol are obviously not safe for winter grass or pole annua is obviously why it kills it but it is safe for buffalo lawns cooch lawns blue cooch lawns brown top lawns bent lawns it says um, now also it says on the back here not to put a surfactant with this. Um, I'm not sure why it says that, but there might already be one in the herbicide. Um, but it says not to put a surfactant with this, so we're not going to do that. And obviously don't water your lawn within 24 hours or mow your lawn within 24 hours. Actually, I think don't mow your lawn within three days. Let's do it. Well, now that that's all down, we just got to wait for him to die. So, thank you for watching. Um, I know this was a very similar video to what I did like two weeks ago or whatever, but I got, there's not heaps to do here. Um, now that it's still winter, there's not heaps to do. Once there's spring, um, I'll have more, but thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next one. I'll be putting my pre-mergent down in a couple of days once I get my, once it comes in the post. I'll put my acelopin down. I'll probably put my acelopin down first and then put my pre measure down maybe when I do a reno. Um, I'm not sure, but thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot more videos to come in spring, um, which will be good. I look forward to, look forward to seeing the lawn um, get a lot better. Um, the front too. So yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.